Hi, I'm Reva with AGP Arms. Today, I'm going to show you how to build and test our Saiga 12 magazines. The key to building a good mag is to make sure that the shells feed up smoothly inside of the mag body. This is how the shells ride in the magazine, with the rim of the shell in this groove. This raised rib here, where the high brass part of the shell rides, will be our focus today. The first thing that we do is scrape this rib to remove any little high spots or burrs left on by the molding process. We like to use a chisel because it's easy to grasp, but you can also use a razor blade or a file. We all have a bit of a high spot in this area along the top of the mag that we always give a few good hard scrapes to so the shells will have clearance. Now, take the two halves and screw them together. Be sure to snug the screws up, but don't over tighten them because this will collapse your mag and jam your shells. Now, once all the screws are snug, take the metal feed lip and snap it on top of the magazine, like this. Make sure that these plastic circles pop into these holes. Now for the test. This is a follower and this is how it goes into the mag body with this angle towards the front. You're going to want to drop the follower into the bottom of the mag and it should go all the way down. Now if it doesn't, make note of where it's sticking and then that way you can go back and scrape there some more. Then the next test will be an unfired shell. You're going to want to drop this through the bottom also, but you need to make sure that the rim is riding in the groove along the back. Now, once it's in, drop the mag upside down and the shell should come right out. If it doesn't, you need to make note of where the shell is sticking and then go back and scrape some more there. Now, you're going to take the follower in the spring and insert it into the mag, making sure that this angle is facing forward. Make sure that you can see the spring in the follower window right here. Now, make sure you hold the spring tightly or else it will spring out and shoot at you. Now, you want to hold the spring and attach the locking plate. Make sure that the locking plate is facing forward. The last thing that you're going to want to do is to put the floor plate into the mag. Put the little lip into the mag first so that it can lock. Your AGP 10 round mag is now fully tested and ready to shoot. I'm Reva and thank you for watching from everybody here at AGP Arms. <laughs>